Hi guys and welcome to part 22 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On this part we are going to implement the add book view. So for that let's go to addbook.component.html file. So inside the components go to addbook, addbook.component.html. We are going to start by first adding a toolbar. To add the book we are going to use a form but we are going to put this form inside the div tag. So for that let's first add a div tag with a class add book form and now let's start implementing our form at the top of the form we are going to have an a tag and when we click that a tag we are going to be redirected to all the books now let's open the form tag and we are going to write in here my form is equal to ng form we need these values in here for the validation of the form so for example, if we have a field which is required, we are going to disable our submit button until that field has data. And for our input fields, we are going to use the material designs MD input container tag. Inside this tag, we are going to add an input which is required and is going to be used to hold the title. After the title, we are going to add the author name. So the same way we add another input tag. After the author, we want the user to enter the book price. But for this one, we are going to specify that the type is going to be a number because the price is a number. We want to display the data read and data added inside a table. So for that, just add a table in here. And this table is going to have only one row. And inside this table row, we are going to have two TDs. Inside the first cell, we are going to add the data picker, which is used to enter the data added. And we are going to put it inside an MD container as well. And we are going to use the next cell to display another data picker so the user can enter the data that he has read the book. After you add these two values, the next step is that we need to add two new fields, which is the description field and the rating field. And we put these two fields inside the div tag as well. And at the end, we are going to use another input tag, which is going to be used for the user to enter the image URL. So this is all we need for the form. Just before you finish, enter an HR tag and a button which is going to be used to create the book. So here we see that we have added another directive which is the disable directive and this means that do not enable this button if the form is not valid. With the form being valid means that all the fields that have the required condition need to have a value. So let's save the changes and go back to our browser. And we see that we get some errors which are related to the data pickers. So let's go back to our addbook.component.html file and remove these values because we have not declared these values in our component. Save the changes and go back to your browser. And we see that we get all the values that our form has. Like the button in here, the book title, the back button which is going to redirect us to all the books view and all the other fields. Now we need to bind this view to our values on the addbook.component.ts file. So let's go to our addbook.component.ts file. And in here we are going to add all the values that we need to bind to our view. To add a book, we are going to need values like author, title, price, data edit, etc. And then go back to your component.html file. We need to make some changes in here. So we bind the values from component.ts file to our component.html file. I'm going to copy paste the source code from my GitHub repository and provide the link on the description section for you to get it as well. So I'm going to delete this one and paste the new code, save the changes and go back to your browser. And here we see that we are going to get the same error. Now to fix this error, we are not going to remove anything from our view, but we are going to update the code. And this is the only change that you need to make after you copy paste the code. So let's go back to our addbook.component.html file and replace this button line in here with a new line which is going to be MD data picker toggle for data edit. The same way go to your date read date picker and in here simply change this for data edit to date read. Remove the buttons, save the changes and go back to your browser. Now we see that we get the complete form and here we have now two data pickers so if we click in here we are going to get the date the same way for the other one. The only change that the new view has is that here we have added a function which is the submit add function when we submit the view and we have created two-way bindings using the ng model 
for each of the properties, for example, the first one, the ng model title. Another change is that we have added an if condition in here, which means that if we don't have a value for our data read, then don't show the description and the rate field. And at the end, we have added an image source, which is going to be used to display the image that we enter on our image URL section. So guys, this is all for this part. As I mentioned before, I'm going to provide a link on the description section for this view, so you can get it as well. Thank you one more time for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you do by clicking the subscribe button and see you on the next part.